Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and today I'm just outside my door with this magnificent black snake that I came into possession of for temporarily yesterday. This snake will go back exactly where I found him. It's very important to return wildlife and snakes to their original locations. This is actually a rescue snake. And so today's episode is going to be about plastics in the environment, specifically some of the pros and cons of using plastic bird netting, and particularly the dangers of bird netting to organisms, especially snakes like this one. This one was trapped in bird netting, and thanks to a concerned citizen who, who is concerned about wildlife, cares about wildlife, uh, we were able to excrete this snake from the bird netting and I'll be able to return it safely back to the wild. So stay tuned for today's episode on plastics in the environment, bird netting, and it, its dangers, and particularly its dangers to snakes like this magnificent black rat snake. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And there's to make this invasive. There's a dog. Dog woods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes. Terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. In today's episode, I became motivated to talk a little about, about plastics and the environment. There is such a hazard in so many different ways. There's been a lot of press coverage about plastics in the ocean, in places in the sea where plastics seem to gather because of currents where there's acres and acres, if not miles and miles of plastics that are just piled up floating in the ocean. The plastics themselves are hazards to many different organisms. Lots of different organisms think their food, they try to eat them, they swallow them, it impacts their digestive systems and can eventually lead to death. We've seen dramatic pictures of sea turtles trapped in pieces of, of plastic. There's pieces of fish netting that are floating in the ocean, broken away from the original use by fishing boats and trawlers that are just death traps. Along sides of road, plastic bottles become traps for many different organisms that try to go inside them to taste what's in there and then can't get out. Plastics, debris, there's microparticles of plastics that are showing up on the surfaces of glaciers around the world. So there's a lot of public scrutiny right now on our uses of plastic. And of course we encourage the use of a recyclable aluminum cans, the use of glass bottles, but there's a certain convenience that people have with using single-use plastic items. There's a lot of movement around the world now in many different countries to start enacting legislation to regulate and limit the use of single-use plastics. So what stimulated me today to do this was seeing this snake that was trapped in a plastic bird netting that a homeowner put around their chicken coop and it was originally to prevent birds, both predatory birds and local birds from interacting with her chickens. Problem with the local birds is that they can introduce mites into the chickens and these birds will come in to eat some of the chicken feed and then in turn bring mites and health hazards to the chickens. A lot of people use bird netting for protecting crops, vegetables, fruits on trees. Applied properly, they can be used relatively safely. They really can be just an enormous environmental hazard. And it can lead to the unintentional death of birds, rabbits, and even snakes like this one that was tangled up in this netting. So the homeowner called me and said that, you know, she had this snake in the netting. She had successfully cut away most of the netting and extricated the snake. And I just want to take a minute to show you this beautiful specimen. You can see uh, how sleek and shiny these scales are. He's built very strongly, very muscular, heavy bodied, I think, for a black snake. Gales are real smooth. 
You can see some of the damage the bird netting caused to this snake as it became entangled in it. These snakes are really amazing how gentle they are. This is a wild snake and so many people are still so afraid of snakes. If they see a snake for some reason they're motivated to get a shovel out and cut it in half and this is a wild snake. This is not a pet snake. This is a snake that has lived without human interaction all its life to get to this, to this stage in its life. And he's completely comfortable with me picking him up. He's recognized that I am not a threat. He's recognized that I'm not going to eat him. And he's not going through any of his defensive behaviors. This snake is not displaying any of those things. He seems quite comfortable hanging out in my hands. So this snake was trapped inadvertently. The, it was unintentional by the owner of the chickens. And it's great to know that there's people that care about wildlife and all wildlife, including snakes that have their place in the environment. So this snake got completely entangled in it. We were able to remove everything. There was a final last piece on its jaw that I wasn't able to get out. And so I worked with the snake a little bit. <laughs> Eventually, he opened his mouth wide and let me untangle this plastic netting from his mouth. And then here's the piece of that I took out and there might be some recovery time here. I'm going to keep him for a day or two. You can see that he's got his mouth open like that. I don't think that's a really good sign. If he doesn't heal up in a day or two, there's a local veterinarian that I can take him to that can check him out. And if you use bird netting, I hope that you use it judiciously. Consider other alternatives. Uh, one of the alternatives is to get a bird netting with a fine mesh that you can't put poke your finger through. Bird netting catches birds, small mammals, rabbits, uh, all kinds of animals. And then it can even catch the things that the predators that go in feed on the animal that's caught in that bird netting. Disposal of bird netting is super, super important because if it's not disposed of correctly after use, it can get out in the environment and it's just a permanent trap for wildlife. Successful rescue here. We're gonna check this snake out over a couple days and, and see how he does. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will subscribe to my channel. If you like what I do, please leave me questions or comments. I love interacting with my viewers and I'm getting more and more people interacting with me online. And it's exciting for me and it's fascinating to meet people literally from around the world. Thanks for watching Nature at Your Door. We'll keep you up to date on how this snake is doing in the future.